Hey everyone, today I want to talk a little bit about ball bearings and tapered bearings, specifically the 88-128 and the Set 20 style bearing that are going to be very common in aftermarket rear ends from your big axle manufacturers. So I've listed a few up here. You got the big Ford New Style Torino, the big Ford Old Style, like a Lamb Symmetrical, Olds Pontiac. You got a GM Special, so that's going to be like your Camaro, Chevelle, Nova, where you open up the whole inner backing plate and the bearing comes through and then you put a retainer plate on the outside. So it's going to be like a like a 9-inch style setup, but with your original factory drum brakes. And there's also several hybrids with the Mustangs also, where they've incorporated the same style of setup. So you run that 3150 bearing, open up the backing plate. So it gives you that stronger bearing, but you could use your Fox Body drum brakes if you wanted to, for example. And there's some also for the newer SN95 and 05-14, so that is available also also a GM truck. They got a pre-1987 truck in, so you could use your stock drum brakes in the truck also. A lot of options there. So let's talk specs. Outside diameter, 3150 on both of these. Now ID, so your ball bearing is going to fit a inch 533 shaft. You got an inch 531 ID on the ball bearing. Now, the Timken Set 20 bearing, you got an inch 565 shaft and an inch 563 on the ID. So, they're not a one for one. Like, you can't buy a ball bearing axle and decide to put tapered bearings on the future in the future or vice versa. And there's another difference is the thickness of the bearing is different. So, the axle is machined. The outside of axle face to bearing stop dimension is different. The bearing journal is different. So, those are not, you can't trade them out. So, definitely want to that's definitely something you want to consider so let's talk about a few features here uh, as far as features on these bearings your one piece ball bearing is fully enclosed on both sides so you can't see the bearings like the you can't see the, the grease like it's fully enclosed self-lubricated no maintenance so that's going to be the most common now the two-piece tape roller bearing it's got an outer lip seal on the outside so that is going to seal from the outside. You're going to have gear oil sloshing up your tubes and it's going to lubricate the bearing. So there's a difference in design there. I've actually got a few here so we can take a look at them here real quick. Okay, so first up we got this one piece ball bearing. This one has an O-ring around the outside so that is going to seal it up and it comes with a press ring also. So this specific bearing, O-ring goes towards the outside. You got the press ring that goes on after that. So so bearing goes on, pressuring goes on, and you can see like this is sealed up both sides. You can't see any, you can't see anything there. So it's fully enclosed. Okay, so this is going to be your Temkin Set 20 style bearing. So you can see, you can see the grease in there, and you can see, like you can see the rollers in there. So this outer lip seal goes on first. And the bearing goes on, you can see the rollers on that side really good. So your lip seal goes on the axle, bearing gets pressed on, press ring gets pressed on, so that's how it's going to stack up. So different designs, so that's open, it's going to be lubricated by the gear wheel, outer lip seal, so just a different style of design, different specs, different thickness, different IDs, but they do share the same outside diameter on these two bearings. Okay, so features about these bearings, Ball bearing, fully enclosed, can't see the rollers. Tapered bearing, outer lip seal, you can see the rollers on the inside. So two different designs here. Uh, also on this, that O-ring that you saw on that bearing, there is a, like the Ford 88-128 bearing, there is no O-ring. So some of your manufacturers make housing ends have a provision for an inner housing seal. So if you don't have an O-ring, you have to have an inner housing seal some manufacturers or housing ends don't have an inner seal provision so you must run an o-ring bearing with a with a setup like that so definitely keep that in mind also when you're looking for bearings let's talk about some applications here so your ball bearing that's going to be the most common street strip cruising around town drag racing ball bearings fine that's what we use the majority of the time now like tapered bearings these are going to be found in like old Ford, you know, four-wheel drive trucks, you know, it's like something you're putting a lot of side load on, big heavy wheel, 
Uh, like if you have a demolition derby car, you do not want a ball bearing. Like you might take one or two shots and that thing's going to break. So you're at, at the minimum, you're going to want a taper bearing. I mean, it's, it's going to be a stronger, it's going to take that side hit better. Uh, also, uh, taper bearings. I know like a lot, like a lot of people that road race where you put a, you got a heavy car putting a tremendous side load on a bearing. You know, I've seen people, you know, they're hitting the autocross, you know, really hard something where you need a stronger bearing that's i mean it just kind of depends if you're you know going to go once or twice might not have a problem but if you're hitting it every other weekend you're probably going to want to either run a floater or at, at the minimum consider a tapered bearing setup as opposed to a ball bearing so it just kind of depends on your application so if you have any questions about any of this feel free to reach out we can talk bearings we can talk specs i'll link up these bearings i can link all this stuff up in the in the description below. So if you have any questions, drop a comment, give us a call 260-301-2424. You can get us on our website, shoot us an email, whatever. So we appreciate your support. Thanks for listening in. Be sure to give us a subscribe. Have a good day.